Hey everyone, Luminous Plasma here, and if you guys uh, weren't up to speed, I was at school and I had no idea, and now I'm kind of sad, but apparently Apple made a giant mistake where um, they actually assigned a whole bunch of old firmwares, they, like, because, I don't know if you guys understand this, but when a new firmware comes out, the previous one is still able to be uh, downgraded to and stuff for a while until Apple stops signing it or supporting it, and then if you download the iOS to your desktop and try to reinstall it, um, it'll say that it's not valid anymore. But anyway, Apple made a fat mistake today and uh, they started signing a whole bunch of old iOSs and like as low as to iOS 6.1.3 or something. And they fixed that and you're able to do this for two hours today, but apparently um, they fixed that except for the iPhone 4S because right now I am installing iOS 6.1. 1.3 right now you guys can do this right now I don't know when this video is gonna go upload, but I am installing iOS 6.1.3 right now And how you get the old firmware is by going to this place called IPSW downloads and click iPhone and scroll down to the iPhone that you have and uh, In this case, it's the iPhone 4s and then click and see right now They're signing these two and I click this one and then you click download and download it and then what you would want to do is um, when you pop in the phone, it would either say update or restore. And what you would do, because I can't show you, but I'm pretty sure this is pretty self-explanatory, is hold down option and then uh, click on restore. And then it will download that firmware. By the way, um, this is an iCloud locked phone I got on eBay, I actually got scammed for. But I think on the older iOS's, there was like a bug or glitch where it would show you the Apple ID or the previous owner's credentials. And I don't really need that because I don't want to be like weird and trying to hack and scam. But what I really want is the original owner's uh, email and see if I can contact them and ask them to remove it from their iCloud account. And that would, if they do, that would be super cool and I'll like make a little video about that too. But anyway, here we go. So I think it's going to boot up to iOS 6 any second now. All right, the phone's on factory settings and Apple is here. And I don't know if you guys know this, but um, when you guys like uh, do speed comparisons and stuff, like if you've seen other YouTubers make videos of all the phones, uh, all the iPhones uh, speed comparison tests on their latest firmwares, the iPhone 4S is the slowest device out of all of them. And now it'll become pretty fast now because it, this phone shouldn't have been made for iOS. Whoa. Okay, this is weird. Before we slide to unlock, this phone should have not been designed for iOS 9. It was like a horrible idea and it slowed the phone so much and everyone regrets updating to iOS 9. But here we go, guys. iOS 6.1.3 and um, I'll show you on here. Wait, wait, did iCloud even exist back then? Oh boys, hold on. All right, I'm just gonna do slide to unlock. Okay, yeah, there is an activation lock, but Hopefully we can find a bug in the matrix or somehow do some hacks and scams and find the original Apple ID. But anyway, here we go. So let's see what happens if we try to set this up. United States, uh, home network. Type in my password real quick. All right, here's home network. It's loaded. Next. May take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Okay, so it is activation locked. In the future, I might uh, make a video on how to find the original owner's uh, Apple ID to contact them and stuff, but at least I'm on iOS 6. I mean, look at this. This is legit iOS 6 running on an iPhone 4S, and yeah, wow, Apple, you did a good job. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Try to do this as soon as possible before it's too late. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye.